Hi there, my name is Jane, and I am a diagnostic medical sonographer at UCSF Medical Center. Today I'd like to tell you all about ultrasound. What is it? Who does it? When does one need one? Why do we do them? Where and how are they done? I think when most people think of ultrasound, this is what they envision. They think we scan little babies all day long, but there's actually a lot more to it. An ultrasound is really just a picture taken of the inside of your body. It's kind of like an x-ray, but x-rays take pictures of your bones and ultrasounds take pictures of your soft organs. Someone called a sonographer takes the ultrasound pictures. Remember me? I'm a sonographer. Your doctor might order an ultrasound for you to see if your insides are healthy or sick. Who here remembers what bat echolocation is? It's when bats send out sound waves, they hit an object, and they return back to the bat, giving it the information it needs. Now I know what you're thinking. You're saying, wait a minute, we aren't bats. Instead, we use an ultrasound machine. The ultrasound machine uses these little cameras called transducers. Transducers send out sound waves just like a bat. The sound waves used in ultrasound are not sound waves that humans can hear. Ultrasound waves are hundreds of times greater than the limits of human hearing. So let's go back to my machine. This is the transducer that sends out the sound waves, and then the picture it creates is displayed on this monitor. Let's take a look at some real life examples of ultrasound images. This is where I work, UCSF Medical Center. It's one of the biggest hospitals in San Francisco. And now let's meet the ultrasound team. take you on a tour of one of the ultrasound exam rooms. Follow me. Let's take a closer look at that amazing ultrasound machine. Now I'll demonstrate how an ultrasound is done on a fake patient, my coworker, Irene. Hi Irene, my name is Jane. I'm going to be doing your ultrasound today. Can you lie down? Thank you. I'm going to clean my hands. And 
then put on some gloves. And come over to the patient, Irene. And we're going to expose her skin. So we have to lift her shirt up a little bit. And we're just gonna put a towel down to protect her clothing. Okay. And we work in the dark, so I'm gonna dim the lights and make sure that the computer is ready to go. And we take our ultrasound gel and we squirt it on the patient's skin. We pick up our transducer and we place it right on the gel on her skin. And you can see on my monitor here that it generates an image of Irene's internal organs. You can see her heart beating there. Although we don't specialize in heart ultrasound, you can see it, it's interesting. But we can see other organs like the liver and some blood vessels, the aorta. And if we move to the side on Irene's body, we can see other things like her kidney is right here. And her gallbladder, which is this little black structure right here. When we're done with the ultrasound, we clean all the gel off. And we get our images checked by the radiologist who is a doctor. Okay, thank you. Here at UCSF, we get to work with some amazing radiologists. These amazing doctors look at all of our ultrasound images in order to diagnose diseases in the patients that we scan. Here are just a few of my awesome sonographer coworkers. Being a sonographer is a very important part of the healthcare team. I love my job and I'm proud to be a frontline healthcare worker.